In this episode, we'll be talking about what it means to look at design from a fundamental perspective, why we need to set bigger goals, and can we have egoless design? And here's the guest for this episode. I'm Marcel Swiers. This is the Service Design Show. Hi all, my name is Mark Fontaine and welcome to a brand new episode of the Service Design Show. If you want to make more impact as a service designer and change the world for the better, then you've come to the right place. Because on the Service Design Show, you get the chance to learn from the success of some of the world's best service designers. We cover topics ranging from design thinking and organizational change to customer experience and creative leadership. If these are the topics you're interested in, be sure to know that we bring a fresh new episode every two weeks on Thursday. So if you don't want to miss anything, click that subscribe button. My guest in this episode is someone who recently started an initiative called the Ministry of Design in the Netherlands. He's my dear colleague and co-founder of 31 Volts, Marcel Zwiers. From our remote 31 Volts recording studio, Marcel will be talking about three topics. What does it mean to look at design from a fundamental perspective? Why do we need to set bigger goals? And can we have egoless design? In case you prefer to listen to a podcast version of this episode, head over to servicedesignshow.com slash podcast, where you'll find this episode and other previous ones. But don't forget that here on YouTube, you'll get content that isn't available as a podcast. That was it for the introduction. And now let's jump right in into the interview. Welcome to the show, Marcel. Thanks. So, uh, like I said in the introduction, you're in the 31 volts uh, remote recording studio, right? Yes, I am. This is and my... where is that? Exactly. Where is the hidden re secret <laughs> recording studio? Well, as you might have sort of recognized on the posters, it's my kitchen in Bunnik. <laughs> uh, 15 mi minutes from here, but uh, the Skype connection is pretty good. It is, yes, Mar yes. Marcel, um, We've been partners for over 10 years, mm -hmm. uh, and depending on when people uh, are looking at this episode. Almost 11, I guess. Almost 11, and probably even, uh, even longer mm -hmm. officially. Mm -hmm. um, I think I know this answer, but uh, people watching this episode might not. So what is the first time you got in touch with service design? Um, oh, good question. I, uh, I'm a product designer by trade. And I've done a number of different things over the years. And then I decided that I had some plans for some innovative outdoor products. Uh, did not work. Didn't work out well, but that's okay. And I had a, a little studio uh, in an incubator. Um, and uh, you had one too on the other side of the... Of we the were neighbors. Hill. Yeah, we were neighbors. <laughs> and... Um, I guess somebody introduced us uh, to a book by Birgit Mager and another one from London, which I didn't find in our library anymore. Um, and I dealt with designing services. And what I found really inspiring and interesting is that um, you can design for people, be valuable, and, and not uh, have the hassle of production technology or having products produced <laughs> in a nutshell. And was, uh, this was back in 2006, Six, right? yeah, because our, uh, our first project was in 2006 for the Chamber of Commerce in Utrecht. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah, nice. So, that was nice. Yeah, that was, uh, 12, yeah, 12 years ago already, mm -hmm, so... Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> right, let's move on. You uh, gave me three topics that are on your mind right now, <coughs> and we have like 20, 25 minutes sure. to go over them. Yeah. Um, I've gave you some question starters and we'll do the co-creation part as we do in mm -hmm. each and every episode. Mm -hmm. um, and the first topic we're going to start with is uh, this one and it's called looking at design. Mm -hmm. Do you have a question starter that yes, goes I along have. with this one? Which one is it? This is this one or the what if. <clears throat> and uh, my question is what if we would look at design in the most fundamental way? And what I mean by that is um, there's a lot of, well, for one, service design is a new uh, design discipline, just like web design was in the 90s, uh, UX design at the moment, um, social design, etc. And the thing is that, in my opinion, there's a lot of research being done to all these small disciplines, and there's just little view on the, the actual essence of design. 
mm. which is named in design thinking, uh, but then it's become a discipline in itself, design thinking, which is kind of weird. Mm. Um, so if you look at, at science, we have fundamental science, and that is the understanding of the world around us, and preferably learn things that we can translate into solutions. Not necessarily so, but that's what we do. So, what what would happen if we would look at design in a more in the most fundamental way? Uh, we would do a lot of things totally different. Like what are you For thinking example, about? Well, this morning I was thinking of an example, mm -hmm. and uh, in our work uh, in service design, we, for example, and the colleagues work on projects like can we uh, improve the um, the train experience, traveling to Amsterdam, with yeah. everything on it. You know, in the Netherlands, we have bicycles, we have bicycle parking, etc. Um, and design isn't used, for example, in my opinion, on um, uh, public transport in general. Yeah. And the thing is that the most important uh, uh, questions are not answered by design, but answered by politics. So that's what I mean. And so who would be aware, who and where should we look at design in the most fundamental ways, a fundamental way? Because science is embedded in universities, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. is, is a university the place well, for, the, for design or is there a different place? And who should, who are these people? Good question. I think, um, mm -hmm. I think, I think the polit political arena would be the best place. Not politics, uh, not political parties, but the political political arena. So if we have major challenges in the Netherlands, for example, infrastructure or um, uh, public transport or health, um, these are mostly answered through politics um, and design would be a better solution, yes. I, th I think uh, Stefan Homlid also re uh, referred to design as politics and design as a political tool. N but would, what would Good this friend. mean? What, what, what would this mean uh, for designers? Hmm. Do we have to go in politics, or <clears throat> would well, that's um, th 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 in Netherlands we have uh, a strong, strong perspe perspective on design, which is called Dutch design. Uh, and then we celebrate the, 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 the different designers and how well they come up with a solution. Um, but these sort of strategic challenges where design would be valuable, mm -hmm. um, they are not challenged by designers and designers don't, uh, the designers I know in the Netherlands, they don't fancy walking around there. They don't fancy mm -hmm. dealing with it. Mm -hmm. um, why is that? Because it's not celebrated. Mm. So That's it's, it's the, the, the tangible products and outcomes, the results are more celebrated than working on improving healthcare. Yes. Mm. So, or uh, to yeah. be more specific, um, relation to what you're saying now, um, it's, it's not a, um, it's not, the small solutions that make better public transport. But it is the mm. question whether we're doing the right thing as a society. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And mm. uh, designers, especially uh, in, at 31 volts at least, we, um, we spend a lot of time in understanding what's going on, a lot of time of understanding what the challenges are, um, and only then come to the solution. Mm. What, what is your biggest question related to um, uh, looking at design in the fundamental way, what, are, what would you like to under, better understand? Um, well, I'd like to be better understand. Um, I don't know exactly, but um, we, we, we as, 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 at least in the Netherlands, we have constructed um, a society and economics and businesses in a way where design is uh, very low on the ladder of influence. Mm. 
um, and that it's 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 not a, it's not that I think it's um, it's not that I think I want to rule or the designers should rule or should be more important than other people, but it would be really interesting if they would act on a more strategic level. Mm-hmm. And your question was, what do well, we need to do? And that is well, well, what is your question related to that? You know, maybe it's how do we get there? Would that be the question? Mm, <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, well, step number one. Uh. Is, uh, is that I decided to, uh, to found the uh, Ministry of Design. Mm. And mm. we are already in organization with 25 people. Mm. And we'll be mm-hmm. having our first uh, uh, Ministry of Design forum uh, on discussing topics like this. Mm. What, does, All right. what, does, what, what could the Ministry of Design do for design education? Or for explaining to fields in the Netherlands where things are happening, that design and designers might have a role or play a role. Mm. And also for designers have some sort of platform to um, to cling on to, maybe, or step on the platform, that may be nice, step on the platform, mm. and, and not to show to the world on an individual basis that they're doing great stuff, working on, I don't know, uh, changing education or health or... Uh, dyslexia or things like that. But that we as a field, yeah, as showing that, yeah. Maybe maybe this uh, topic on uh, the uh, Ministry of Design relates to the second topic you gave me. Uh, oh, let's see. Let's um, see. And it's ju- I just have one word, and the word is ambition. And mm-hmm. what goes? And I have which f- question? And uh, let me see. Oh, I is have the, the open wild, uh, the, the open answer, the wild card. My so, qu- my 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 question is: How big should we think? when it comes to service design projects and challenges. So I made it specific for service design, but you can do it for design in general. Um, uh, so the question is how big? Mm-hmm. On which, yeah, how, how big should we think? Um, well, we have this, uh, we have a, a, a sort of famous um, scientist in the Netherlands, Robert Dijkgraaf. Um, he's now sitting in a chair Einstein sat in in Princeton. Um, and he wrote in a column that we should start to look on a uh, farther horizon than we normally do. Mm. And then he said that 50 years, looking 50 years ahead is really, really close by. Mm. Um, and that made me think, and that made me uh, read again the uh, speech that John F. Kennedy uh, posted in '61. We choose to go to the moon by the end of this decade and do the other things, not because they're easy, but because they are hard. And the thing is that um, when I talk about this with different designers, then they sometimes say, well, you, you can't act on that. Mm. So it's too far away. Mm. Mm. Um, while John F. Kennedy also said, and we're going to uh, uh, find all resources, all talents in order to get there. And then somebody stood up and say, well, I'm going to do the spacesuit suit. I mean, there was no spacesuit, right? Mm. There was nothing. Mm. Mm. I'm going to do the helmet. I'm going to see how we can can form glass so we can get a space helmet, for example. Mm. Mm. And the reason why I'm telling this is that often we are working on a spacesuit or a helmet or a chair <laughs> and forget where we want to go. Mm. So. And does this have to do with leadership or John F. Kennedy is, of course, an iconic leader? Mm, maybe, but I think primarily, again, what I said before, we're not going to celebrate the bigger picture. We celebrate the spacesuit. So mm. it's better to do a space, spacesuit now than to um, uh, uh, better to do a spacesuit now, uh, and even if it's the wrong spacesuit. Uh, or it's not useful at all, mm. then um, being part of a, a bigger challenge or a bigger ambition than yourself. Mm. <clears throat> so so, so wh- what do you think? Why is that? Why do we <coughs> uh, as, uh, accept for celebrating the smaller victories? Mm. Why aren't more people working on that bigger ambition? Uh, because you're not celebrated. Yeah, is, that the, is that the key? I think so, yeah. 
people and, uh, people uh, like like to like to see small tangible things and say, well, that's nice. You did that well. Mm. And so, so uh, is this? Is, I'm, I'm trying to understand on uh, the the bigger scale. Is this how big should the scale be? Is it like on a country level? Is it like on a what is that scale? Because John F. Kennedy, you know, America celebrated that they went to the moon, so the whole 250 million people celebrated. Mm -hmm. is, is that something you need to tap into, or is it? Sure. Yeah, and and there's there's there's, uh, I think, with the John F. Kennedy example, you can like transform any ambition into a serious one. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, we look at Elon Musk and say he's coming to Mars. That's mm -hmm. great, and it is. Mm -hmm. But why is it the only one? You know, it's just, it's not genius that you mm. say you want to go to the moon. What is the, uh, the, the, the um, uh, what are we missing out on when we're not working on such a big uh, ambition? Because we never get there. That's what we're missing uh, out. So, so are we heading in the right direc uh, wrong direction or? We, we we doing doing? Uh, uh, we're doing baby steps. Baby steps. And that is okay. Baby steps are great. As long as you know what you're doing it for. And yeah. I mean, it might sound a bit hard now, but that, I'm okay. But um, yeah. doing baby steps and being okay with that without, um, well, yeah, looking at the bigger picture. Yeah. I'm doing this and I'm not going not, not to get honored for that, but it's okay. It's on yeah. the right direction. And uh, don't get me wrong, there's many, many designers I know that do crazy stuff, important mm. stuff. And then we not celebrate or then we not express the context for their ideas or their solutions. For example, we have a, we have a standard test also in the Netherlands at, at uh, primary schools. And I've had a student and she, yeah, she redesigned the standardized test in something mm. completely new. The effect that that might have on society is really, really important, on education and more. Um, but there's no, no moonshot goal for her to mm. fit her puzzle uh, piece mm. into. Mm. Mm. And, 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 and thus, if she doesn't have, have that moonshot goal... Nobody's going to see her. No, no, nobody in the Netherlands will see this project ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And I, so, I can mention tens of them. No. Mm. Mm. Uh, what do you think would be uh, needed? What would be the first baby step, maybe, to helping people to actually uh, think about those bigger ambitions, those bigger goals? Well, the, the, is it is it like the ministerial yeah, design? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. It's changing the discourse on what mm. design is. Yes. Mm. It's 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 just as simple as that. Changing mm. the discourse on what design is, and it will take some time. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's important, so you have the time for that. Yes, yeah, like sure. Like the, min sure. the ministry is is like a moonshot, or it, I hope so. Yes, I hope so. Mm. It's not mm. the moonshot, and mm, sure, uh, we don't need a uh, documentary mm. on it in thirty years or something. Yeah, but yeah. Um, um, and at least I have twenty five other designers that are like, yeah, this is this is nice. You know, what is the mm. role of design? Mm. Um, yeah. So, and and we just we, we just skip out on that on so many levels. Well, this already helps me. You know, I, I didn't have that perspective on the ministry. And when you mm -hmm. talk about uh, this on a, like a, a decade decade scale level, then mm -hmm. it becomes much uh, easier for mm -hmm. people to join in and help to help to get take the steps toward mm -hmm. that goal, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe um, maybe to add to 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 or maybe to reframe something. Sometimes uh, being a minister is a is being in power while a minister actually is a servant. Um, so that's also we that's really strange. Of course we need to reframe the frame we have on minister. So anyway. And, and this will contribute to that. I think so, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, talking about ministers, uh, this third topic is probably uh, pretty interesting. Uh, the third topic is called uh, oh, yeah. egoless designer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I was, um, I've 
And our, what is your oh, question? Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> um, how can we? How can we? Yeah, and uh, the question is, how can we park our ego? Uh, because I've just in preparation of, of, of this interview, I've um, uh, I needed to check what ego exactly is. And uh, the way I uh, constructed the question is, how can we park our ego behind the studio and not in front? That is the idea. So who's we? Let's start with that. Ah, good one. Um, the design sector, at mm. least in the Netherlands. L l let, mm. me, let me talk for the Netherlands. Yeah, the design sector. Mm. So no I'm fancy sure. shoes, no fancy jackets anymore. And isn't that part of the, uh, of the, uh, of the field? Isn't that just who we are? Why, why, uh, why should we park that? Um, no, it's, the, the, it's, the, it's not who we are, but it's the ones we see. Hmm. So, like hmm. I said, I have had so many students at, um, uh, in the last five years at um, teaching service design at the Willem de Koning Academy. Um, and they, they, they work on projects that are uh, really important, I think, and really relevant to work on, and it's not celebrated. Hmm. And it's not that we need to flip that and celebrate that, <clears throat> but we need to be more specific on celebrating these fun, crazy, um, photogenetic ideas, um, and also focus on the lesser egos or the introvert people that are just working their ass off to make something valuable for society of people. Hmm. And um, you know, is is this um, who's sort of to blame for this? Is it the design field or is it the media who's giving attention primarily to the people who are who want to get the spotlight? Um, oh, well, where is the solution? That's maybe uh, yeah, a better so it's, question. It's, it's no, one, no one to blame for, uh, I think. It's, it's how we crew uh, design. Um, and I think particularly in the 90s where uh, Dutch design, the stream of Dutch design, where you celebrate the designer and his product. Mm -hmm. um, the superstars. The superstars, yes. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so that's... It's, it's not even... The superstars are not even to blame, but... Um, Somehow we, media, uh, yeah. curators, uh, writers, um, thought, well, that is interesting. These guys are really, really, really smart, mm. really creative. Mm. So, and, that, and then we, we, it's just, it's okay to look at it like that. But it's also okay to look at it on a different level, mm. on a different way, a different perspective. Mm. So the challenge is to go beyond the surface, what you see on the surface. That's the easy um, part. Yes, that, that's, that's for sure, yes, yes. <laughs> and why is, this topic, why is this topic so important to you? Um, well, I was at the Dutch Design Week this weekend, and the, the cool thing is that um, one of the things that, that made these superstars is, is uh, often these are designers of furniture, um, and the Dutch Design Week is not a furniture design show anymore, so that's a good thing. Um, but still, it's uh, the design, as it I quotes, the design of an individual designer with his creative uh, genius mm. that we celebrate. Mm. In instead of what should we, what should the design, uh, the design uh, week look in in ten years? I know. Uh, I thought about it. Impact. Mm. Can we show mm. what it has done for people? That that mm. will be. That will we be should lovely. celebrate impact instead of the the hmm. instead of the art piece. Yeah, or instead of I mean, the design is something like, for example, in architecture, the design is the plan for building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Building isn't there. Mm. So, and if it's if, if it's a library, then we're gonna celebrate the architecture. Five years or two years after it's delivered and people can talk about what this building mm. or furniture or service means mm. to them. Mm. Impact, the, the, impact is, 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 it, is most important. And I, <clears throat> the, I, I think it's also really important that the design industry uh, uh, as a field starts to talk more about impact. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. What what is the impact that we're creating instead of just um, mm -hmm. 
right? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the, oh, I can the, explain. The, uh, behind me, I mean, I'm in my kitchen, and behind me are two posters of D D Brown, and it's not even Dieter Rams' work. But I remember Dieter Rams in a documentary explaining that his task was not to design pretty stuff, mm. but to be a part of um, post World War II Germany mm. in order to make it more optimistic. I don't know if he succeeded. That, 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 that's well, beside the point. But but I mean, I cannot judge that. But yeah. that is a challenge for a designer, which I think is more important um, than the products. And sure, I have the products here on a poster. But um, these help in this case to talk about this topic. Yeah, but you have to know the story. That's that's really important, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so um, one final question regarding this topic, and that is. Um, where, where, where to start again? I guess it's, where, where do we start? Mm -hmm. I, I, I would say I don't know, but uh, I started with the Ministry of Design. Uh -huh. And we're going to, I don't know, um, rub against the system. Like all the uh, guests on the show, I'm giving you the opportunity for the people who are listening and watching this episode uh, to ask a question. So is there anything you'd like to know from the, from the audience? Mm. I know you didn't prepare this one. So That's okay. Uh, That's okay. You know me. I'm okay. Well, the thing is, um, of course, ego, ego is a topic that I think about a lot. Um, and my question would be, is my Ministry of Design thing an ego thing? Or is it something you say, well, we could have something like that in Finland, Germany, France. Hmm. That would be smart. No, sort of, sort of, or maybe a ministry, I mean, this is ministry and is on a, on a normally it's, of course, on a, uh, a country level, but you can also have it for an industry, hmm. for example. And so the, the question so is, am I the only one? Am I the, the crazy one or the, the ego with his uh, big mouth uh, wanted to be a minister? Uh, or uh, do people recognize the things that I'm contemplating about? I uh, think, yeah, yeah that, would be, that would be an interesting experiment. Then. Leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments, uh, guys. Time flew by. Uh, thanks for sharing. Thanks. Uh, uh, thanks for being in your remote recording studio. I'll see you back here probably in, uh, in half minutes. an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thanks again. And uh, I, let's wrap up this episode. Thanks so much, Mark. So what do you think? Does your country need a Ministry of Design? Share your thoughts and ideas down below in the comments. And remember, more people like you are watching these episodes and your comment might just be the thing that helps someone to get his next meaningful breakthrough. If you'd like to learn more, check out some of the past episodes or head over to learn.servicedesignshow.com where you'll find courses by leading service design experts that dig deeper into the topics we talk about on the show. That was it for now. I'll see you in two weeks time with a brand new episode. Thanks for watching and see you then.